Hello folks, this is 2021 February March session paper 1 2 and the question number is uh, uh, number 8. This question is concerned with uh, let us say forces, chapter forces or uh, dynamics I should say. So it says that uh, a ball strikes a horizontal surface with a momentum P, momentum P at an angle theta to the surface, to the surface as shown. The ball rebounds with the same magnitude of momentum, same momentum, that means uh, same speed, let us say, same velocity, same speed, at the same angle, at the angle theta to the surface, surface, same angle here. The ball is in contact with the surface for time t, so t is the time of uh, contact, time of contact, it means that uh, whatever changes uh, that happens within this time, whatever changes occur there, that happens within this time. So it is just uh, the time here, just the time of impact here. What's the magnitude of the average resultant force acting on the ball during the collision? So we have to find the force due to this collision. One thing to remember is that when it is uh, inclined like this, we have to go further. So the surface like this, it will exert forces normally. It will exert forces normally. Actually, uh, it has to fo exert forces like this, somewhat like this. Uh, you might say that uh, why can't it be slanted or inclined? Yes, it can be inclined. So certain molecules will feel force like this, certain will feel force like this, but the resultant will be like this. So here also, certain molecules do like this, 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 but the resultant will be perpendicular. So that's why the force it exerts will be in perpendicular direction. So what we must now do is we have to we have to find the horizontal momentum and vertical here. If I consider this as horizontal and this as vertical. So we have to we have to know the horizontal momentum and the vertical. The horizontal momentum will be this in this direction. Vertical will be in this direction. So since this is theta, this is theta. So this should be p cos of theta. P here, theta here, p cos theta. So p theta here, it is p sine theta. So here also it will be the horizontal will be will be will be p cos of theta and the vertical will be will be will be, will be it will be p sine theta but now it will be minus minus because the direction is opposite it is going uh, down down uh, from this view and from this view it is going up so if i say this is north it is going south it is going north now when you say force, force means rate of change of momentum. So we have to find the change of momentum. The horizontal does not change. So what changes is the vertical only. So that's why the force should be equal to uh, <coughs> change in momentum. We, we need magnitude only. So that's why the sine does not count. So I should do initial momentum is a P sine theta, sine theta minus, finally is a minus P sine theta. And uh, the time that happens is here the change happens here during this time so it is t so that should be equal to uh, that should be equal to uh, sorry, sorry to consider. Um, yeah so that should be equal to uh, this is uh, minus plus it is 2 p sine theta by t f equal to so if i go to choices it will be choice number d choice number d so it's because theta is here had they given theta here theta here it should have been p sine theta, it should have been p cos theta, uh, minus p cos theta, p sine theta. In that case, the answer would have been C. Had they given this angle, had they given this angle, this, it should have been C. And had they given direct vertical like this, vertical like this and like this, the answer would have been B. So that is the, let us say, uh, cleverness of Cambridge examiners. So if you make one mistake, the answer you arrive at will also be in the choices. If you make a mistake at certain step, certain step, then the answer due to that step will be somewhere here. And uh, what people do is uh, they make a wrong choice, <coughs> wrong step, wrong choice. They find the answer and they feel that it's correct. In fact, it is not. So you have to go through the correct step and correct uh, way in order to arrive at the correct answer.